Jose Automotive Reviews, folks, and today we're going to be talking about the Ford Bronco. And the Ford Bronco is going to have a great, bright future. And the future is actually when you look at the uh, the Jeep Wrangler and you see that the following of the Jeep Wrangler is really, really, really strong. And the following of the Ford Bronco in the past has also been strong. And just the brand identity is powerful within itself. Now, I've been reading articles about this and sort of brings this to light. Well, there was once a, um, a gentleman named um, Josh Grissom, and that's, that's Zot, who, um, a salesman for Ford. Um, was able to um, be put in a situation where he was asked by Mr. Josh Grinson um, in an attempt to get on the buyer list for the uh, 2021 Ford Broncos. And he was told that there is no list yet. Uh, not even for, um, now this is a country music singer that asked him that. And he was told there is no list yet, but there is supposed to be a list after uh, July 13th, the revealing of the Bronco. Now, people are so excited to get their hands on the new Bronco, um, says the Ford dealer, and who is the um, Mr. Zott, who is the uh, co-owner of Zott Auto Group in uh, White Lake Township. He says, every time I post something on social media to let them know the timeline, I get about 10 people begging me to get on the uh, list. They have to go to Ford website and pick a dealer, but people are like, please help me. They want to get this Ford Bronco. So this thing's a beast. Let's take some looks at the different picks and what to expect. Um, this is definitely the two door. And of course the stick shift picks. So there's gonna be a lot about this uh, Bronco. The Bronco is gonna have a strong following a strong following just like the Jeep Wrangler following which is very very powerful strong fo um, following it's not just the hype Mr. Zot said he he knows that this is real so if you're gonna buy uh, a Ford Bronco you know it's gonna keep his resale value because it's gonna have that same strong resale value of the Jeep Wrangler so it's gonna be worth his weight as people would say, worth its weight and go. Now, the buyers themselves of these um, adventurous vehicles are outdoorsy. They're people who want to experience life and people who want to have fun. And this is what makes it awesome. I definitely wish I could get on this buyer's list, but it all depends upon the funding situation with me in particular. Now, when you look at people who are a part of this culture um, they're adventurous people now the Bronco was built as you remember from 1966 to 1996 and for people who have the old Broncos they get top dollar uh, for those cars and a lot of people you know from childhood wanted to be, you know, a dying to be a part of this Bronco culture. Because Bronco is an iconic brand in so many ways, from off-road to just your afternoon drive with friends. With the roof off, uh, plenty of summer sun. So plenty of time to enjoy your, your time with friends. This is the Idea SUV, just like the Jeep Wrangler. Is it gonna knock the Jeep Wrangler down like a lot of the Ford executives think? No, it's not. It's not gonna knock it off. It's not gonna knock them off their pedestal because their pedestal is strike strong and it's quite solid. Now, the Jeep brand and this, and not the Jeep brand, but the Bronco brand was discontinued back in 1996. And the people are waiting. I mean, the other day, it was a, a few, I think it was like uh, two, three, four months ago, I went to an auto show. And this one gentleman had a green um, older Bronco. I don't know what year it was, but he had it remodeled. And he was very, very proud of it with the engine exposed. 
and it just shows you how devout and how strong the following of the Jeep the Jeep Wrangler and also the following of the uh, Ford Bronco is going to be so there's going to be you know there's a strong demand and it's gonna this is very a very very uh, nice vehicle and definitely if you're gonna get one there is no doubt you are gonna get your money worth in gold now the people who buy these type of things are the type of people who are free spirit and they're the type of people who like the wind blowing in their hair um, and want to go out and experience life and especially during this period when a lot of people are dealing with um, depression and dealing with this COVID-19 and everything that's going on in the world today we need something emotional and this Ford Bronco is an emotional vehicle and it's going to do it and it's similar in every way to the Jeep Wrangler now definitely we know just like the Jeep Wrangler the Bronco demand is going to exceed supply and with that in, in, in light you know if you get a hold to a Bronco and if you turn around and sell it in two or three years from now you're gonna get your money worth and it's gonna be a big demand that's no doubt and this Bronco is new it's exciting and not only that it's super sexy now you start removing the top of the vehicle to bring a different feel into it to bring a different vibe to it. I remember back when, when I was in law school, a friend of mine actually had a Jeep Wrangler and he took that top off and I went for a ride in it. And I was in the back seat and i never forget that because it was something like I've never been in before because I've always been in cars and I've never been in a Jeep. And he, when he took that top off, it was just a totally different feeling. And this was like back in 1997. Um, and I remember that and it was just you know it was fun so I know for a fact I would like to have that in my collection now this is known we know that this is gonna be a bestseller and we know that this is real now loyalty to the Jeep brand can't be underestimated in any way uh, now Brian Moody the executive editor of Auto Trader said that Jeep has been capitalizing on their heritage for decades and not a name only, but it's capable, it's adventurous, it's a utility vehicle. And it has a nod to the past. It's what many people want. You know, it's a strong, strong heritage. And that's what the Bronco is promising. And so you know without a doubt you're gonna get you're gonna you get you're gonna get something special. And they're gonna be able to deliver an authentic product because this is what they did from 1966 all the way up to 1996 and it's going to communicate a density and it's got that nostalgia that's going to make this a definitely winner and this right here what we see here is definitely renderings but this has a nostalgic way to it and it's different than the Jeep that's why it's going to Jeep Wrangler it stands on its own and it's going to be a good good seller so if you have any doubt in your mind rest assured that when you do get one of these Broncos you're gonna make a good choice either way Jeep Wrangler or Bronco you're still gonna you, you you're gonna be fine because a Jeep Wrangler and a Gladiator are the kind of vehicles that shoppers and young and people of old you know they want this type of car and the same thing with the Bronco now the Wrangler puts them exactly where you know they want to be out of the way immersed in nature you know away from all the media all the turmoil fresh air with people you love you don't have to worry about wearing a mask because you're out in the wilderness and you're with the people you love you ain't amongst a bunch of you know shoppers and stuff like that and you feel that connection to life that connection to the adventure the connection to you know for reasons to live and knowing that you are part of this whole whole ecosystem and that's what Ford Bronco and the Jeep Wranglers bring and but notwithstanding everything Ford knows what it's like uh, to sit on the top of the bestseller and uh, such as a Ford F-150 and the F-series pickup 
and Ford has been like this actually for a long long time with their trucks just like the Jeep dominated off-road segments for more than a half a century Ford is the same way so there's a lot you know they're gonna grow on this and this is a very very powerful powerful following right now presently Wrangler is on fire um, and Wrangler is according to Zod it's nothing like it and every time they have a product there they literally sell them out if they have 30 products in 30 days those products move out and the same thing is going to be with the um, Bronco the demand is for these particular vehicles will never diminish and even during the time of the coronavirus uh, the Jeep Wrangler continues to sell like crazy uh, according to Zod the business has been a frenzy and is maddening pace and a lot of them can't believe the sales that is coming about even during the time of the pandemic and the same thing you know Zod believes that true Jeep people are going to stay Jeep people and true Bronco people are going to stay Bronco this is an awesome vehicle for folks and this is just an awesome experience you could be coming a part of a new culture and on July the 13th 2020 we're going to be seeing what's going to come we're going to be able to see the whole picture and you're going to have something to, to lust after and something to be a part of this is just going to be awesome folks now the Ringler Rubicon models um, $55,000 to $60,000 um, the Jeep Wrangler Sport and the sport model started less you know less than 40,000 and actually they become sexier with the bigger wheels so this is what this is what makes it this is what makes it awesome folks and this is what makes it attractive and of course you're gonna pay a little bit more but you're becoming a part of a culture you're becoming a you know connected to the retro to the you know going back to 1966 up until the present date the technology that this that this uh, particular Bronco is gonna have you're gonna enjoy it to the core and um, I'm just here just you know letting you know that this is going to be an awesome awesome product so wait until July, July the 13th 2020 it's gonna be on ESPN it's gonna be on ABC it's gonna be in the you know which is a I guess ABC the Disney Channel all of the introduction we're gonna have movie stars and everything else you know at this um, uh, revealing um, this is AO Automotive Reviews thanks for watching and stay healthy and remember like share have an awesome day if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up Share it with your friends and subscribe for more interesting videos.